hello everyone you welcome to this channel this particular video is for everyone having issues on the layer edge platform you are having issues either importing wallet or claiming that daily check-in whatever your whatever issue you're having this video should be able to help you out but meanwhile if you haven't watched the previous videos before this won't be doing you any good because i won't be talking about some of the things that I already spoke about before in those two videos I'll be adding them to the comment section video one video two so this particular one is just video three if I'm to talk about each and every one of them together this will be unnecessarily long and boring so understand that and um, let's go ahead and go straight into the wallet import exporting whatever wallet metamax kiwi issues and um, so on so remember us watching to like share and don't forget to subscribe to this channel this is my layer edge account on okes wallet or okes mobile app right now if you look at this right now some of the issues i've been receiving or questions i've been receiving is the fact that some persons are clicking start node and this is showing error right now i've actually been farming before this has been running before but suddenly i opened it right now and it stopped on its own the reason why this actually stopped um is actually due to a network if i click on start node right now this may likely not stay open well you can see processing and look at this image or this message you have right there so if you have something like this reload the page you can see right in my okes um, wallet you can see this reload icon click on that or the second thing you can do right here is to click on this three dot and you switch to desktop and return back to mobile when you do that and you click on this this should be able to start on its own but in case this doesn't start it simply means your network is very bad so please understand that perfectly if you try that right now i've clicked and it's trying to sign a message on my okes wallet for this to start um running now you can see this actually it actually popped up as though it wants to sign a message in my wallet and it showed network error so literally if you have this kind of issue whereby um you're trying to run or the same error or if your node is not even working it simply means your network isn't stable no matter what even if you claim your network is good what you need to do is refresh the page over and over again but the mistake you must never make is to connect or switch to a different wallet so that's actually the solution for those experiencing this kind of issue right now my network isn't stable and you can even see the confirmation right here even when it's trying to sign the message from okes in order to restart my um node so i'm going to go ahead and continue with the rest um of the video right now the second major issue is the fact that many people don't know how to import wallet from their okes to metamax naturally by default except if you're coming across this video or you're coming across our channel for the very first time if you have been with us for some time now if you create any wallet on web3 or whatever wallet i have always advised write out your phrase and keep them somewhere there is no way you'll be creating an okes wallet or metamax wallet or whatever wallet and you will not be requested to save your recovery phrase or do backup so it is more advisable you copy out your recovery phrase and keep them very safe right because this particular address you're seeing right now is a particular wallet that has been connected and if i am to open my layer edge platform on kiwi browser or on any other browser at all and i am not seeing this particular address you can see what is ending this address nine triple a if i'm not seeing this particular address it simply means i have connected to the wrong wallet on that particular browser or wall or wallet or wherever so how do you get your recovery phrase from okes wallet in case you're a new member i'm assuming you're watching me for the very first time okay because you can't even be following us for so long and you won't even know all these things by now okay so if you're watching for the very first time how do you go about taking your wallet um phrase from here 
you can just close that or minimize that by clicking on that minus at the top and right here on my wallet page which is my home page you can click on this where you have account name if you're not seeing account name on your own go ahead and click on this um, menu button at the top left and you're going to be clicking on wallet management if you're clicking through that uh, menu icon at the top left but if you're clicking on this um one right here you're going to click and when you click you can see where you have manage wallet at the top so they are literally all the same right so that's exactly what you actually need um to take note of you can see when i click on wallet management it still brought me back to this same page if you're also paying close attention you will notice that i have several wallets in my okes so which of this wallet did i actually connected to my layer edge platform but for some of you that you open the wallet for the very first time you may be having only one wallet there you don't really need to bother yourself with too many of these explanation just stay with us as we proceed all right now for me i have several wallets right here but here is the one that i have right now that i connected which is what i have right here you can see it's showing a marked sign at the front of it as well so take note of this particular wallet and take note of the name i renamed it to make this much easier for myself in your own case you may be saying account one account k account z take note of the name and also take note of the mark you're going to be seeing in front then you go ahead and click on where you have this manage wallet and right now i've clicked on the manage wallet remember the one i'm trying to get my phrase um for is actually this metamax but in your own case you'll be seeing the name either account k or account z or account whatever account it is go ahead and click on that three dot at the front of that in front of that and you can see where you have cloud backup seed phrase you're going to go ahead and click on seed phrase and get your recovery phrase from here after getting your recovery phrase from here then you're going to open your kiwi browser after opening your kiwi browser another question i've also been receiving is that many people are saying they are using um maybe a laptop if you're using laptop all you need to do is simple the same process if you're using laptop and you're using chrome browser simply change your settings and reduce the font size to 90 that's a site setting reduce it to 90 all right or below 90 um for some persons i've been asking as well can i use my sys browser the answer is you can try and use it but for me i don't believe my sys browser is really good for all these things we are talking about right here in fact my sys browser have several limitations and which was why i had to discontinue using it for running notes and all other stuffs um like this so it is more advisable you get kiwi you can see the name right at the top here yeah? just go to your play store or your app store or whatever store and get that browser and once you've gotten the browser for some persons who are also asking um probably you're seeing that you already have a wallet before when you log into your account you're seeing a different wallet because right now if i open my layer edge account at the top um right here it will be showing my real wallet if you took note of the wallet um that i have right on my okes before it ended with 9 a, -A, -A. so if i go ahead and click on connect wallet right now for some people if i click on connect wallet right now you can see the message is not really allowing me to view what i have right here so i'm just going to double click outside i think this particular one should be included on our previous um video so please refer back to that i'm not going to be adding all this unnecessary jargon right here so i'm selecting metamax right there and right now it's saying connecting or opening so i have to open my metamax and log in right so i'm just gonna go ahead and click on this three dot and open my metamax extension and i'm gonna be typing in my metamax um 
password remember i'll still be telling you exactly what you need to do all right in case you already have a different wallet right here i'll be telling you what you need to do to get rid of that particular one but i just needed to do this so that you can see as well you can see when i actually open my metamax it's saying connect below so it's as easy as this i've connected so i'm returning back to my layer edge platform and just wait a little bit right here you can see my balance is actually reflecting right here but in case your balance is not reflecting just wait a little bit and if you waited uh, for some time and your balance isn't reflecting check your address did you actually notice that the same wallet i have on my okas is still what i have right here so if yours is not the same it simply means you imported the wrong wallet or the wallet you have right now in this your metamax you have here in your kiwi browser is not the correct wallet and if i go right here right now and click on start node it is meant to say processing and um even ask me to confirm something in my wallet but if this is not bringing out um that on time it simply means my network isn't stable so it's same processing so let me open my metamax and let me see what i have right there now in my metamask i'm not seeing any message so i'm going to refresh the page by simply dragging from the top to the bottom or you click at this three dot and then you click on this refresh or reload button right there now i'm giving you all these other um tips just in case you may be having any of these issues you can see immediately actually reloaded the page can you see the signature message actually popped up for me and if you look down right here i need to confirm that message so i'm clicking on confirm remember as you're watching to share this video with others let them get to understand some of these little things we are doing so they can easily know exactly what to do after confirming the message i'm returning back right now to my layer edge platform click on that and here is my layer edge platform can you see that the node have actually started on its own so whereas i was having issues using okes wallet immediately actually came down to my kiwi browser this continued um running automatically and if this actually kept wasting time it simply means my network isn't stable i will just need to try this much later so please understand that now for the daily check-in for those of you who are using system probably like laptop you need to reset your screen because if you look right now at the top of this way i'm having light node um running this is showing already claim this is what you're meant to say if you have done the daily check-in and for all these other ones so now to do the daily check-in and the kind of setting you need to make use of it's already in the previous video so i don't want to be adding that to this because i don't want this to be long so you just need to refer back to that i'll be adding them video one video two right at the comment section this one is just the third one just as i've said earlier right so right now if you're having a different wallet because this is the major problem that i noticed many people were having many people trying to import wallet and they notice that the wallet they have right in their kiwi browser is a different wallet or how do you even get the extension if you followed previous videos that we've done you should be able to do this easily as well but in case you're coming in newly to this space and you haven't really been with us before here is what you're gonna be doing just open a new tab just click on this plus that you have right at the top and in this new tab right where you have the search search for metamax extension immediately i started typing you can see what actually popped up so i'm clicking on that if you want to get the correct extension it always has to be the first at the top and as you can see right here this one that is having chrome metamax um chrome web store so go ahead and click on that if you have watched up to this level and you haven't liked make sure you hit that like button to ensure that we're not wasting our time and you're gaining a little value from um actually watching right now so just hit that like button right now i've actually opened the extension and right at the top that's at the top right hand just let's zoom in on that a little bit and after zooming in you will notice something this is saying remove from chrome now for all of you having issues probably when you connected your wallet 
after connecting your wallet you were noticing a different address at the top what you need to do is remove from chrome that is the easiest and the fastest you must remove from chrome now the reason why you must remove from chrome is because metamax by default doesn't allow you to add multiple wallets using recovery phrase except you have the key and in many cases people don't usually have their key because the key is just those um combination of those long words and letters or numbers so this is actually the easiest way you can save yourself the whole lot of stress of um, probably trying to go and look for how to get the recovery key so since you already have the phrase you're just going to go ahead and click on this to remove from chrome but if you don't have this before you're going to go ahead and see add and when you click add automatically you will be seeing a message saying okay and by the time you click on that okay message you will be seeing remove from chrome and immediately you see remove from chrome it simply means this extension has been added to your kiwi browser and after you're seeing something like this just go ahead and click on this three dot because you now need to import that same wallet you have in your okes wallet right here so i'm clicking on the three dot and you go down looking for the extension you added you'll be seeing metamax down there and you can see metamax um right there so go ahead and click on that metamax and immediately you click on the metamax you'll be seeing two options i think you can be given a welcome message and all those other welcome message and you should be seeing another message saying either import or create a new wallet if you mistakenly click on create a new wallet again what do you need to do return back and remove from chrome and head back to chrome it's as easy as that don't waste your time trying to look for how to add multiple wallets right here that will waste a whole lot of time right so just remove it from chrome and add it back to your chrome and after adding the extension launch the metamax and after launching the metamax you'll be asked to either import a wallet or create a wallet so go ahead and import and when you're trying to import metamax will just as usual when you open normal metamax um, app you will always be asked to create a password go ahead and create a password but when you are importing your wallet by typing the phrase make sure you type in your phrase one after the other without any space at the end of it and you must not type anyone with capital letter recovery phrases are case sensitive they are always in lower case that's small letter type each and every one of them with small letter and make sure there is no space at the end of each and every word you type you should be having something like this and immediately you have something like this just go right here click on plus and log into your layer edge platform just search at the top and say the name right at the top dashboard.layeredge.io then you go ahead and click on the connect wallet at the top and you proceed with the wallet connection and after connecting the wallet confirm the address you have at the top if they are the same then it means you've successfully done the right thing you cannot go ahead and do the late daily checking by simply following those other previous um guide either you just watched now or that you're going to be watching shortly and that's it all guys on exactly how to import your wallet some of these issues you've been having i believe this video has actually been able to answer one or two or three or more of your questions if you find this video helpful like share and don't forget to subscribe to our channel